across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback with the Dallas Cowboys. New York ready to go again offensively. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. This is Gallman. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. He was brought call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. Now Gallman. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. New York, 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11 at the 24-yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Goldman will run it. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. From the gun, Jones. Dumps it off to Lewis. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Okay, so the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points.
After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Takes this about five yards deep. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Ezekiel just a three-yard gain there. He was brought down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, Elliott. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. But we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam, puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion, really good pickup. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> 
Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. And I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's Gallman. He takes this for three to the 29. Wayne Goldman, the ball That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Operating from the gun, Jones. It's caught, Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a Giant first down on a gain of 16. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now Jones throwing on first down. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Good work after the catch, gonna net him 23 and a first. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. After the sack on first down, Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. From the gun, Jones. And Ingram's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Evan Ingram. 31 yards, and the Giants are going to jump back in front. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone, so give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Giants 10, Cowboys 7. to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They start on the ground with Elliott. 
Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down now. It's Elliott, and he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. On the carry. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll move the chains. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Play fake. Here's Dalton. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Throwing again. Dalton trying for Cooper again. This time he finds it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Dalton hands off to Elliott. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Dalton off play action. That is caught at the seven. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's Dalton. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Being chased out left. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Dalton on third and goal. That's caught at the three. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Cowboys trot out Greg Zerline from the left half. Should be a fairly easy one here. 
Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will knot us up at 10. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The New York set to take the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. I actually wrote that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. <laughs> I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they've wanted to, but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Giants on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down Giants, Jones to Ingram. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Jalen Smith tied for six in the NFL in tackles last year and on the stop there. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And his throw is incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Big Leonard Williams there on the stop. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. 
from the gun. Dalton looks to throw. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. This is Elliott. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. The end result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Play-action here with Dalton. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain there of 30 big ones. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses, those exact type of runs. On the option, here's Elliott. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. Cowboy ball carrier. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw here, Dalton. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Give the sack to Blake Martinez. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback. And you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. And the pressure gets to him again. Kyler Fackrell providing a little deja vu, back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, Oftentimes, the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Zerline back out there now to send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. 
And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Operating from the gun, Jones. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. That's complete left side to Shepard. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jones and Shepard with a connection there for a Giants first down. First and ten. Throw left side complete. It's Shepard. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Jones now on first down. And complete to Lewis over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Jones off the play fake. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. That catch good for only a couple. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Jones. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No, third. Third down. And this one too low. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now Jones, this Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass, brings up fourth. A lot of times it's that first read that you have, maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Square. 
Bauer now at 13 all as he sends this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. First and ten for Dalton. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First and ten, here's Andy Dalton. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of six there on first. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. again on second down. Dalton, and he finds his target. It's Schultz. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. So we come upon halftime with a tie score, 13 all, as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. So many times, tight games decided by one big play. And a lot of times, of course, it's the offense. Here, it's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche, but it applies here. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Good. Makes the score Giants 20, Cowboys 13.
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. you just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll run with Elliott. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From just shy of midfield, Dalton left side to Lamb. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Cowboys. Dalton here from the gun. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Ezekiel Elliott, the Cowboys. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle Everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Dalton. Wide open. Amari Cooper. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 yards on the play. First down. First down, Dallas. carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott and he can't quite get there tackled down at the one ten more there and another first down I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive the holes have been large and they've been barreling through them picking up first downs and they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass throwing Dalton under pressure now and he's gonna go down Sack back around the eight. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal of the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Out of the gun. It's Dalton. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Run to the sideline and incomplete. It's third down and goal. 
from the eight-yard line. For the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Operating from the gun, Dalton. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Complete. Michael Gallup there to make the grab. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Rick fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Possession of the football going back over to the Giants. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. From the gun, Jones to Shepard, complete over the middle. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the gun, Jones. No gain at all on the play there, and that'll bring up fourth down. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Now in his fourth year out of Alabama, there's Dalvin Tomlinson making another nice play up front. He's been one of the strong points of this Giants defense. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Dalton. And he almost intercepted it. 
Don't they haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. From the gun, Dalton. Cooper's got it. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. First down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Snap came at one. Now here's Dalton. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. To try again after the sack, Dalton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Lamb. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. They look to throw on third with Dalton. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction. I was able to track the ball in another. They'll run on first down. Elliott, and good downhill running. He's got six he yards down Elliott to the 13. Yeah. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Passing, it's Dalton. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Andy Dalton with his third touchdown pass of the game. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Giants Zerline 20. good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. New York ready to go again offensively. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give them seven there on the first down carry. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming. Double up. 
They'll run again here with Goldman. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the draw, this is Lewis. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop it behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 32-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now second and 11 from the 32. Operating from the gun, Jones dumps it off to Lewis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, Jones toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. Third down here. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Throwing Jones. Catch made by Slayton. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle but couldn't spring himself free. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Looks like I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Flushed out right. He'll run it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Four yards remain for second down. Here we go, D. Get off the field. From the gun, Jones. This will be caught at about the six. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Hey, 
On the draw, this is Goldman. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second down and goal. Jones feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Neville Gallimore able to get him for a loss of about three. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Operating from the gun. Jones. Escaping the penny will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Seven apiece is our score as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Dalton and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. A 20th carry here for Elliott. He'll have a first down past the 40 and all the way up to the 46. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? On second down, it's Elliott. That he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. A first down throw coming for Dalton. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. 
And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 27. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The Cowboys on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first down. It's Elliott, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And now to the air, Dalton. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 23. They'll drop here to throw. That's complete to Slayton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Shepard. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Jones throwing complete here to Tate. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant. And oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Gallman. And he'll be taken down at the 34. The ball carrier. A gain of three, second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Second and seven, operating from the 34. On the ground, it's Gallman again. And a short game down to about the 33. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. This is Gallman, and he's going to get this one down to the 30. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline to talk over what to do next.
So out on the field now, Graham Gano in a big spot. This for the lead in the final stages. And this one is right down Broadway. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. He'll look to throw. Able to hit his target, Lamb. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Dalton saying, let's get going here, guys, as he rallies him to get set. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Huge first down, got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. First down now, but the clock continues to move. All right, here's Dalton. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll look to throw. Completes it right side to Cooper. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Field here, Dalton. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.